Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Beanie TV. This is your girl Beanie. Welcome to my channel where I offer you sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. It is my two year anniversary. Well, April 1st was my two year anniversary. I've been here for two years, guys. I got on that plane, had my wisdom tooth taken out the day before I got on my flight. So I was like high off Vicodin. My mouth was this big getting on the plane to LA like this is a true story like I had to get my wisdom tooth pulled out because all of a sudden it wanted to hurt really really bad before I made the decision to move to LA and I had to get the wisdom tooth pulled out and it was a very traumatic experience and I cried and it was not cute at all the next day my mouth was like this I was like oh hey Alvin and the chipmunks what is up so I'm on the I'm going through the airport trying to stay confident and fly in my leather jacket but my face was like I looked like Kanye West after the car accident. That's how my face looked. Like, that's how the one side of my face looked. So, got on that plane, almost threw up a few times because of the medicine, and I moved to LA two years ago. I have had tremendous growth, and this growth and and progress and all the, all the processes and experiences that I've had, I never would have had it if I had stayed in New Jersey, if I had stayed in New York. There's no way I would have learned what I've learned in these two years and Los Angeles has allowed me freedom it has allowed me to grow it has allowed me to focus on who I want to be what I want in my life and how I'm gonna make it happen and it has brought some amazing good-hearted hilarious creative free-spirited people into my life and I Los Angeles fits more with my personality absolutely and it's just showing me like I can freaking do it like what I want to do I can do it I think that if I had stayed in New York I would have been too distracted with the boys and the drinking and the the clothes and and going out and I I would have mm -mm, I wouldn't like be where I'm at or who who I am at all if I had stayed in New York and if I had stayed in New Jersey I would have been just too complacent I was getting to a very unhappy space and I wasn't like in my positive mindset at all but here in LA it's like it's good it's good I mean there are definitely things that I would have done differently um, if I had known better so one of the things I definitely would have done differently I would have taken my time in moving into the apartment that I live in now when I moved to LA I moved in with my friend Justin who you can catch him on the um, last episode of girls where it's like marnie and her ex-boyfriend hang out around the city my boy justin is in that movie he's in the scene where he's like he's the one that's mugging marnie if you don't watch girls i don't know why but if you do watch girls that is my friend justin we worked together at top shop and i lived with him when i first moved here and then i decided i wanted to live on my own and i rushed the decision and I really wish that I had just taken my time because there are so many different places to live in LA. But it's it's weird because it's like there's things that I would have done differently. But also if I had not moved in here, I would not have met my amazing friend Jasmine Walker. If I didn't move in this apartment, I wouldn't have met her and she wouldn't have connected me to all these amazing people that I know. And I wouldn't have had such amazing experiences. But also it's just like going back when you decide to move to LA take your time because there are so many different areas to live in you can live like I live near downtown so I love I like live in the hood before downtown I think that if I knew then what I know now I would have probably tried to move in Silver Lake which is like the Williamsburg of Los Angeles something else I would do differently is I wouldn't have worked so many hours when I first moved out here because it didn't allow me to really really get to know the city my yeah it didn't help me get to know the city because I was working 40 hours a week I was just like Lord Jesus I need to pay my rent I need to pay everything and sometimes when you have a day off you are so tired all you want to do is watch YouTube videos and eat and go to sleep so of course you have to live I mean you have to work in order to pay your bills and everything like that but I think it's really important to carve out a day or two or three to really just walk around and explore the city I have so many friends that they're just like oh yeah you know I just walk around and discover the city I'm like oh that sounds really nice like but can't do that you know like even when I didn't have a job I wasn't exploring the city because I was freaking out about getting a new job so I would just recommend 
carving out time to really walk around, discover the city, get to know the city, go to like find out like or trying to choose like your favorite places to go get juices from, your favorite cafe and, and get to know those people at those stores because those are, you know, great connections and potential friends and things like that. Um, another thing I would do differently is I wouldn't have gone home as much. My first year I went home like at least three or four times because I was making enough money and I was able to buy those plane tickets to go out. I was going home every three months um, last year and I it didn't allow me to become deeply rooted in Los Angeles. So that is why I'm, I'm making it my commitment in my second year and going on to make Los Angeles my home, like to get deeply rooted in here, to really not feel like, because sometimes Los Angeles can just feel like you're here to make it and then you're going to go back home, if that makes sense. Like it feels like I'm always working and striving and thriving, but it I don't feel settled. So that is my goal for this year is to feel settled. So if you're moving to LA, get settled become deeply rooted if you really believe that this is your city like the first day i was in la i was like oh this is i don't feel nervous i don't feel scared this is my city this is where i'm supposed to be i felt such calm about my decision so if you move to la and you feel this calm and peace of mind with moving i suggest you don't go home as much like my other friends like they don't go home until the holidays like and i would be like how can you be away from your family for so long and then i was just like okay but they, they are deeply rooted in LA and I want to be like that so I'm definitely not going to be coming home as much like I came home in November for my mom's birthday and Thanksgiving but if that was last year I would have been coming home for my birthday but I'm not so I definitely would I'm excited to become deeply rooted and not go home as much because then you don't really you don't feel like you're living in LA you feel like you're really living in New Jersey and coming to LA to work that's how it felt sometimes um, but those are the main three things that I definitely would do differently is scoping out the neighborhoods and really finding out where I wanted to live um, and taking my time I would definitely not have worked so many hours in the beginning and really uh, given myself the ability to bite into LA and really really understand the city and explore the city and the third thing is I would not have gone home as much as I did so those are the three things again if you're planning on moving to la feel free to hit me up on twitter at beanie tv or email me at beanie tvo at gmail.com and i'd be happy to offer any advice or suggestions or anything like that i made it two years y'all do you know i there's a friend of a friend of a friend basically a stranger who came to la from wherever she was from came to la and then like something was happening with her roommate situation and was like, oh no, forget this and got a ticket right back home. She was in LA for 24 hours. They say that if you can make it in LA for a year, you're good. And I'm just like, that's weird. They say if you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. But seriously, I have seen people live here for a year, six months, one day, and then move back to where they're from. This city is not a tough city. It is just that you cannot compare it to where you're from. If you compare LA to New York, you're going to want to go back to New York. You have to appreciate both of them and what they both have to offer. And if you're thinking of moving to LA, why would you think of, why would you compare it to anything? You came to LA for new friends, new opportunities, a new life. So you have to take it as it is, as the city it is, you know. And LA is not what people expect it to be at all. It can sometimes be a lonely city. But you know what? This city has so much growth to offer because sometimes in that loneliness you find out who you are and you get to sit down with your thoughts and you get to like dissect yourself and really understand who you want to be and that's what i appreciate about the loneliness factor here in la um thank you guys for tuning in and i will see you guys next video and again hit me up on instagram twitter at beanie tv and hit me up on my email beanie tv yo at gmail.com